Hello everyone, Michael here, and welcome back to another vlog. In the last couple of vlogs, we were of course at the Air and Space Museum, but today we're kind of going back to the topics and kind of roots of the uh, vlogs we did on the Calvert Marine Museum, uh, actually a while back now, like a couple of months ago. But this time, we are at the, um, the Chesapeake Bay Marine Time Museum in St. Michael's. Now, this is pretty much almost identical to the Marine Museum, the Calvert Marine Museum that we went to um, a couple of vlogs ago. But yeah, it actually has a lighthouse almost identical to it. We will be checking that out, obviously. And a couple of more cool features, um, including a super cool boat right, right there, right behind me, right there. And we actually went on it today, but um, my camera was working, wasn't working back then, so didn't get a chance to record it, but yeah, so yeah, I'm not gonna talk for much longer. So, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna go check in. But first, as always, obviously, we all need masks to go until the COVID is over. And take off our masks for the time being. And, yeah, we're in. There's the lighthouse I was talking about. Um, but there's a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, not too much cool stuff here, just a pile of random sand. But this looks like some kind of, oh yeah, right there, right there, it says boat yard, right there, it says boat yard. So I'm guessing it's a yard with boats. Um, looks like a bunch of buckets, probably doing some restoration on some ships. Now, there is a ship currently that is in restoration that I know of, um, it's the Maryland Dove. Now, it is a float in a park, had its name, but it's a pretty old, like, galleon-style ships, kind of like the, uh, the Mayflower, which probably all of us know by now. And they're restoring it, or making a replica. And, oh, actually, there are some hard hats over there, so that's good. Safety. Safety, number one priority when you're building something. Also, this truck. Here we got Bobcat. Bobcat, um, little uh, mini excavator thing. And this ship, I'm guessing that it's also being restored currently. Um, I don't really know what it is though. Not really. Kind of, kind of reminds me of Nova's Ark, but. Oh, over here we can actually see the restoration being made. It's okay, we're allowed to go here. There is the fence, that's where we're not allowed to go. But this is public ex has public accessibility. So here is the launching platform, I think. Yeah, it's definitely the launching platform. So this is where you put your boats. Probably gonna be soon that one. Or that one. I don't really know which one's gonna be sooner. These are sort of like train tracks, but for boats. So, yeah, it gets pulled along with this chain all the way into the water. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And over there, you can see the restoration of the Maryland Dove. So, there we can see we have a worker currently working on it. He looks like he's working on some of the lower parts. Oops, sorry, my finger was in the way. But here's the lighthouse. I'm gonna go check it out right now. And yeah, I'll see you guys up there. For this, we do need our mask. So yeah, it, like I said, it looks pretty much identical to the one at, in the Calvert Marine Museum. But instead of a kind of hard to accessible with a camera ladder, they have a very easy accessible with camera stairs. So that's nice. <laughs> that's made of metal. And yeah, similar, very similar deck to one in the Calvert Marine Museum. Um, that's an arrow. We're supposed to go that way. But let's go. And oh, here we can go in. Oh, so now outside it is very 
identical to the one at the Calvary Marie Museum, but inside, um, I'm not sure, is it? Yeah, it's a little bit different. So, looks like this would be, um, the kitchen. So we got sink with a pan, a cup, and a cool plate, a coffee grinder. I don't know why I called this in one of my vlogs at the, um, at the Calvary Marie Museum a music box. I don't even know what I was thinking back then. Turns out this is a coffee grinder for coffee beans. And looks like they got some nice potatoes and a big potato. Uh, biscuit things. Are those biscuits? I, I don't know. I think those are biscuits. A ginormous watermelon. That is a very big watermelon. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> that wasn't actually back when this was operational. I just added that in. Um, we got a very rusty old knife. Can you even call that a knife? It kind of looks like a chisel. Then again, I didn't live by the time this lighthouse was operational. Oh, and here is the place where the uh, the wait for the bell is. And of course, here is the stove or furnace. Some boiling some potatoes. Uh, that's where you put your coal. And I'm not really sure what those knobs are for. And this thing goes up to the chimney. So uh, you don't suffocate and all the smoke that comes out of it. Right here, we have like a little exposed pantry area. What is this? All right, the text on there is upside down. Uh, can't really read it. Got a little net there. Uh, catching fish, crabs, something of the sort. Oh, we got some tomatoes. Um, oysters, coal, wood. Probably all used for the stove or whatever the else they use. Um, oh. Yeah, R.I.P. Goose. All right, here we have a big thing. Kind of looks like some kind of boiler where they boil water, I don't know. Uh, another furnace, just one singular stove thing on it. Just one. I got the piece for you, I'll keep mine. And uh, also here's my sister. <laughs> Once again, she is joining us. And she's ignoring the camera again. <laughs> here we have a captain's hat, a gas lamp, before the light bulb was invented. Um, we also got some hand sanitizer. It's, it was put there by modern people, not one time when this was operational. But, I will take some. Right now my hands are all clean. Um, looks like we got an apron. Now one of these weird things. And looks like a workbench. Is that a vice? I think those are vices. Got a hole or whatever that is. A bunch of saws. Humongous saw. A brush. Whatever that is. And another brush. A bunch of brushes. Another vice. And a little sweeping place. Um, oh wait, actually there's the vice. I think, I think these are like portable vices. But that was more like a blacksmith vice. The one I'm more used to. Um, and here's just a little thing where they probably just shave wood, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert in tools um, with anything here. I just know the names. Or some of them. And there we just have a regular old toolbox. And there we got a ladder, right next to the hand sanitizer. Right there. And we got a rope. Turpentine. Looks like some kind of gas or gasoline. Um, a can or whatever you call it. And a paint can. To uh, make sure the paint doesn't peel off of the walls. Here it's kind of clearly peeling off. We got a giant tub. Another one of these things. And a hole that leads straight down to the uh, ground. We also got a bed. Um, not the comfiest of beds, but 
It's a bed nonetheless. We got another gas lamp, a uh, coat hanger, a place where you wash your hands, a giant trunk. And here is a nice example of what would happen if it's too cold outside and you really need to pee. Yeah, you can read that yourself, but basically they, when it was cold, they had to pee right there. Yeah. But I think it's about time we, uh, we go up to the next level with these winding uh, staircase stairs, or uh, what you, spiral staircase stairs. Oh, kind of hard to balance the strap out of my hand. I, ooh, fire extinguisher, super important. And on this level, it's actually actually identical to the one at Calvary Marie Museum. Yeah, there's the corner. Here's a random box. And, oh, the bell. Um, what? I think. Oh, yeah, see? It actually rings the bell this time. Wait a second. That ain't the bell. Where's the speaker? I'm gonna find the speaker. Okay, I didn't find the speaker, but, you know, it serves as the illusion that it's actually ringing the bell. But yeah, down there, you can see those weights that we looked at. And, yeah, they pull all these gear mechanisms till they eventually ring that bell. But yeah, this is kind of like I told you that you could, like, I think you can find a speaker this time. Oh yeah, it's just behind this thing. But yeah, you can actually do that at Calvary Museum, but they removed that feature. And here we have a like, um, I don't even know, storing something. And this is was the bedroom in the Calvary Museum. We can actually go in this time. There's a better look at the corner. So you know what is actually there, Cal Marie Museum, because everything here is identical on this level. I'm not really sure about the level though. Here is a uh, the lens or a uh, spare lens. Not really sure which lens. There's a lens up there, and the floor is surprisingly creaky. So if you want to be sneaky, you can't because it's very the floor is very creaky. Let me get another trunk with a black blanket or what is that? Here we got another lens, gas lamp, light switch, lights, and that's it. So now we can actually go up to the third level. Now you cannot do this currently at the Calvary Marine Museum, but you can. And I will do a short to see what it is at the Calvary Marine Museum one. As soon as they open it, it's currently closed. But, yeah, here you can see the actual lens. And I think it actually, I think it might actually work. Night or something. I don't know, I mean, there's a tube raining down, so. And here you can actually go out to this deck. With this little hole right here. All right, we got out. And, good to, good vantage point. The whole area. Now there is the Miles River with a bunch of interesting facts and history to it. Um, oh, there we can see the Isabel. Mm. Oh, actually, it's a nice little boat there. And another view of the construction of the Dio St. Mary's. And over on this side, um, there's a boat called Thor. It's actually a, like, a pretend boat. I'm gonna go over there in a second. But my mom and my sister are actually in it currently. And there's just a view of the roof for you. And also a little sparrow right there who's sitting on the sail of that gigantic boat down there. Uh, oh, what's this? What's this thing? Oh, it's the chimney that leads down to the furnace downstairs. Got it. All right, now. Let's <laughs> head in. Ugh. And I'll see when we get down. So we will go into super time lapse mode. Oh yeah!
take off our masks and go and check out that um, pretend boat with my sister and my mom in it. So I'm gonna head over there. And right here is the place where we can board this boat. So let's board it. Well, all right, we have boarded the Thor. It's called the Thor. Welcome Thor board. Bozeman. Welcome on board. And here is the pilot house. And my sister is the captain. The Hello, Captain Maria. Hi. Alright, so yeah, they have a wheel in here. Not actually works. But and yeah, you can spin it and stuff. Here we have a gear lever. It makes very strange creaking sounds. A bunch of um uh the dialogues or whatever they're called or uh, displays. This one's gone. Okay, there we have an instrument panel, or, or access panel, or whatever. And um, here, as you can see, my sister is demonstrating. Um, you can press this to start, you can press this to stop. There you can see, my sister started up again, and there's the horn. And right here, we have the, um, the two throttle levers. So yeah, here are the two flower levels. This is to go fast and slow, and this is to go reverse or forward. So let's go forward, and you know, let's slow down a bit. Here we have the show powers. Yeah, you, know, you can flip those around. And here we have a um, little map of the area. Right here we have a little uh, TV display radar thing. And here you have a ball that you can spin and stuff, and you can turn this off or on. Uh, you can decrease the range or increase it. Uh, turn everything off. Right, but yeah, there was a bunch of cool stuff there. You can't really do with this. Do much with this. Uh, this looks like some kind of uh, steam thing. Here we have a bunk in case you have to go overnight. There looks like a little bedside cabinet. And yeah, that's where you would sleep. But now let's go into the crew quarters of the four. And right here we have the sink where you can pump some water. Very nice working pump. Um, you have a locker here for stuff. And the galley, where you can press this, turn on the stoves, and there you can cook some porridge or something, and here's just a little table. And of course, we're at the stern, of course we're not actually in the water, we're just on a pile of gravel, but, you know, it has a pretty, uh, pretty uh, promising uh, sounds and works inside obviously but we already saw that so this is going to be it for today's video i hope you did enjoy it uh please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell that's um that's way over right there on top of my finger um actually right there it's very far away <laughs> But yeah, do hit that bell once you've subscribed to turn post notifications on, and I'll see y'all guys next time.